everybody, it's Mr. Bureau from Staten Island Tech, and today we're just going to talk about the Hatch Patterns project, which follows making the regular patterns project. This is a simple one, it should only take you probably about 10 minutes to 30 minutes, as long as you don't have any problems in your drawing. It says in the project sheet that you will use CAD to make the extremely detailed version of the pattern seen below, which you have already done. So a new set of instructions, again, corresponding to this drawing, which you have already done. It says, use the hatch command to fill in all the empty space in the patterns. Use a separate layer to hold your hatches. You are required to use solid, gradient, and pattern hatches at least once. That doesn't mean once per pattern, it just means once on the entire drawing. Um, please make use of a lot of different colors. Try not to blend all the areas together because that will show that you're really just ignoring all of the beautiful areas that you have drawn. Uh, remove the dimensions or turn the dimension layer off. Uh, you could hide the Roman numerals as well, please. So this is very short. It's not going to be worth that much. I already did it uh, as an example inside CAD. So here is one example of the project right now. I have my uh, title block filled out and there's the design notes and here's the what the page would have looked like and then even just to preserve this I copied it to the side and erased all the garbage as far as like the dimensions and then I color you can see that this particular one satisfies all the requirements of the project right away it has a solid hatch over here pattern hatch over here and a gradient hatch in the middle. Then I use uh, some monochromistic color design where like everything is a different shade of red. Over here I mixed up like uh, red and white and then threw a rainbow on there because I felt like I it had like a little bit of a rainbow shape to it. Here I made like a, a mixture of a honeycomb pattern hatch with um, like a hexagonal pattern hatch. There was an uneven amount of zones so I changed the zones over here just to have that. Uh, I blended a few things together here with the white and the black, uh, but I kept the overall shape to be very recognizable. This one, I thought it was cool if I use the same hatch pattern so it shows that continuous set of bricks in the background, but I changed the, the background color of the hatch. So I, the foreground color is the same and the hatch pattern is the same, which is... Um, I'll show you which brick pattern that is. It's uh, this one over here. No. This one. Over here. It's ARB816. With a very, very, very modified scale to it. So, again, I have that background color the same, but the... Uh, I'm sorry, the background color is different, but the foreground color the same, and it made a really nice connective tissue area there. For the sunflower thing, I made it a sunflower at least. I have a green center pattern hatch with a concrete pattern. And then the middle area where the petals are, I also made a concrete pattern with like a red foreground to it. And then I used the gradient for the petals. And over here I made opposite rings the same color for the RGB red, green, blue, but a gray background and a dark red color. Really not that fancy, but it's certainly enough. Then if I go to the layout area, I simply have to click inside my viewport, pan it over. And just by panning it from left to right, I have now this thing front and center. And I don't believe there are design notes required for this. Nope, there are no design notes required for this. So you might as well just keep the same design notes from your pattern project on here. And that's it. You go ahead and submit this as a separate file. Don't over save over your regular patterns project. You want to hit save as, and then we'll dump it to like um, a hatch patterns file. So I'll say hatch patterns, and then hit save, and that's it. So now we have it saved as a different file name. That's about it. I don't think it's going to take you very long, just like this video didn't take very long. Good luck and thank you very much.